We're good. Did you get your bow? <laughs> Hello, beautiful rays of sunshine. It's your girl, Alex. And today, I want to break down my favorite standing poses. I've done a video before on how to pose your face, your hands, and your hair. And you guys seem to like it. I really enjoyed filming it. So I thought I'd turn this into a series. If you got some ideas, let me know in the comments. But today, today we are gonna do standing poses because I do quite a lot of hiking and my go-to's are standing poses because unless I'm sitting on a rock, I'm gonna be standing while I hike. So, you wanna add anything? Can I get a half half? There we go. Well done. <laughs> Let's go hiking. Up, up. We are about to hike Marmot Pass for the night. And on the way up, I thought I would show you guys some standing poses with and without the backpack, AKA hiking poses and more like showing off your outfit poses. So let's get her going. about, I don't know, maybe halfway up. So I thought perfect time to do some standing poses with said backpack. More of like a casual, candid hiking photo. So first off, simple, easy one, grab your backpack. You can stand here, bend a leg, bend the other leg. You can even put it up front to add a little bit more interest to your body instead of like straight on a little flat. You can kind of go to the side. So what I like to do is kind of have my body facing one way and turn my chest to face you guys. Bend the leg to make it a little bit more interesting and then bend towards the camera. To switch it up, you switch the leg. Bend the other one, have two hands up, two hands down, kind of move around. The easiest, for me at least, candid full body shot is to just walk. Can look up, can look down, put a hand down, spin around, maybe some walking away shots. I find on Instagram a lot of is back ahead photos. Turn towards the mountain and just stand there. Let's bend a leg. Bend another leg. You can even put it out like you're walking. Those are the little tips with the backpack. It gets a lot easier when you put your backpack down. You can do more posing, but we're gonna try and get to the top to get at least a little bit of light, so. Shall we continue, baby? Let's do this. Did you get your bow? <laughs> it is heating up. Boone's passed out, and now we've got. We got wow! Oh shit! Hello. As you noticed, it was quite, quite windy up there. So I did try and record myself talking about the standing poses while I was there, but uh, my microphone decided to pick up a lot of the wind. So instead, I'm just going to do a little talk over for this little next little segment. Yes, it was like the segment of the point of this video, but you know, nature happens. I'm going to just talk over it. So enjoy. <laughs> So these poses are your more modeling, trying to show off the outfit poses. At the start of the shoot, I would ask the cameraman, where is this being cropped off? Is this a full body photo or are you cropping some part up my leg? 
Now let's mix up at least one of your legs because we don't want both legs perfectly straight, symmetrical. It's a little boring. And if you're like me, you're not blessed with those gorgeous hips. My favorite go-to, I want you to put one of your legs forward. Then feel free to play around with your arms. To mix this pose up a bit, take that same foot and put it back a bit, almost like you're taking a step. Another pose is to have both legs straight, but to have them at least shoulder width apart. Because both legs are straight, we want to offset it with two bent arms. Create some angles with your body. If you want to show off a little more of them curves, let's turn to the side. Here, we can show off the little bit of booty we've been building. Easiest way to do this is to bend your leg. To enhance that booty more, you can rotate your hip and push it up towards the camera, but not necessary. To switch this pose up, bend the other leg. One of the easiest standing poses is to just walk away from the camera while throwing your arms about ever so casually. In this pose, my favorite is to look back at it. If you're not really sure the best angle of your face to look back, I would face away from the camera, look back a little, then rotate your shoulders a little bit more to the camera, look back, and then fully to the camera and look back at it. So you get a range and you can then look at it afterwards to see what your best look back angle is. Well, lucky for us, it seems that both my hiccups and the wind have died down. So we're gonna go right back to the video's audio. I uh, hope you enjoyed my little voiceover. Once you've done all your full body shots, you can ask the photographer to give you a little bit more closer, more intimate crop. I would say right above the knees. Photographer. Now for this crop, again, it's a little boring and unflattering just to have your legs straight. So what I like to do is simply put this leg or this leg and cross it over the other. The bottom of the photo, it looks pretty pointed in and then your hips come out. Even if you don't even have hips, it gives it like that illusion. Another way to increase this illusion even more, to have like wider hips and then smaller waist, take your hips and like point them back a little. That's the difference. This is how it looks like from the side. <laughs> you can also do the absolute opposite of this pose. I like to add, again, that little bit of depth. So I would put your one leg a little bit closer to the camera than the other. I would love to see whatever poses you guys use. So tag me on Instagram or YouTube, whatever you're feeling, Alex Driggs would love to see the shots that you guys create. As for us, we have to hike down this mountain and pack up our tent without getting eaten to death. So, <laughs> oh, that's prickly. Okay, see you later. <laughs>